Hey guys, welcome to Aussie Rush and Father's Day is coming soon. Have you prepared anything yet? If not, the easiest and simplest gift to give to your dad is a card. I'm going to show you how to make an accordion card showing your message. You could just make a regular one-fold card, but if you feel a bit crafty, try out this accordion card. My dad is a construction worker and I want to have images that are related to what he does. Google will be the first place I go to, but there will be copyright issues and the size of the image, the qualities and stuff like that. Instead of going on that, I will be going on graphicstock.com. Graphic Stock is a website that provides over 300,000 high quality and royalty free graphics, photos and vectors for you to download and use. It has the largest unlimited download library full of those and you don't have to worry about copyrights because all memberships come with a 100% royalty free agreement. Graphic Stock has tons of categories for you to use. You can find specific themes for your project or we'll just look through and see what you want to use. You can find multiple graphics, images, and vectors to combine them and make one unique design. This website provides other formats such as JPEG, PNG, and EPS, which is for Illustrator software. If you struggle with thumbnails for your videos, you should definitely check out GraphicStock for some ideas and see what you can come up with. You can sign up for the website at graphicsdoc.com slash YouTube. The link is in the description box to get a 7 day trial where you can download 140 pieces of graphics vectors and photos where well, you can sign up for their annual plan for $99 with unlimited access to all the contents they have on the website. It's a very good deal compared to other websites where you will have to pay about $10 to $30 for one image. So take a look, I'm sure it will be very helpful to your projects. Now back to the card. I want to look at images under construction that are relatable to my dad. But you can look through what they have for Father's Day by typing that on the search bar. I feel images for Father's Day is a bit general, so I'm going to go back to the construction and I have found several images that I want to use. I have saved them in a folder and these are the 5 images that I will be using. Click on the image and download it. These 5 images are in JPEG format and once I have downloaded all 5 of them, I'm bringing them into Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use Word documents or other free softwares or programs that you can use to resize the images. I have Photoshop opened and I'm going to File, New and choose a letter sized paper to put the images on. But if your printer can print larger paper, you can choose for a bigger size paper. And here is the blank page. Now I need the ruler to show and if it doesn't show, you can press Ctrl R on PC or Command R on Mac. We'll just go to View and then choose Ruler. I'm making the images into 4 inches by 4 inches, so I'm bringing out the guidelines. Then I drop in all the 5 images into the page and resize them to 4x4 four four by pressing Ctrl T on PC or Command T on Mac. Now position the images into place and you can provide some text if you want to or you can handwrite it later on after you print. Choose a font and color that I'm happy with and adjust the position of the text. I provided text for all the images and then going to draw lines on where the guidelines are so that when I print the page, I will know where to cut. Now, if you are a graphic designer, you probably say use InDesign, but Photoshop is just easier to show you what I'm doing. Based on how I'm folding the card, I have to include extra half inch for the continuous fold. In this case, I will be including that half inch on the right side or next to because and you fix text you can put lines on the top and the left side then select all the layers and move everything inward to avoid cutoffs when printing you just want a border for printing but if your printer can print bleed you don't need the borders now save this page in pdf or jpeg i prefer pdf format and this is how it looks like then press print i'm using thicker papers for this instead of the regular printing paper because i'm making a card and it's better if it's thicker in order for it to stand. I just ripped two pages from my multimedia sketchbook that has the right thickness for this card. After the printing, I'm going to cut and score the paper. I'm using over a knife, a cutting mat, and a ruler to help me cut. If you are too young to use over a knife, you can either ask for an adult to help you or use scissors to carefully cut along the lines. Or you can use paper cutters if you have that. On the full part, I only need to score once. Since the paper is not super thick, one gentle score will do the job, then fold it. 
For the half inch part, score on the opposite side. Take a pencil or a pen and mark where the line is and score it. Do the same for the other page and to connect the pages, use regular glue or other glue that you have. I use tacky glue since it's stronger and dries faster. I use a toothpick to spread the glue on the half inch parts and attach the other page on. If you can print a longer paper, you don't need to do the glue parts. You can also make this card longer if you want. You can include your name and other stuff. Thanks to Graphics Doc for sponsoring this video and it is super useful size for projects even for video thumbnails, business cards, t-shirt prints, and so on. Don't forget you can sign up on graphicsdoc.com slash YouTube to get 7 day free trial or you can sign up annually for just $99. Check the description box for the information and links. I also hope that you like this DIY and thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Alright, bye!